<laughs> okay, now you guys are really messing with us. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dean's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing my review for the second to last episode ever of the Walking Dead TV show. This one is for Season 11, Episode 23, titled Family. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing out of view today. This one's going to be doing out of view for The Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 11. This is my review for the penultimate episode of not only the 11th season of The Walking Dead, the entire series. So... Wow. Oh, man. So I hope you have watched the episode if you've watched this review, and I guess that'll kind of lead me into the first thing I'll say. This review will contain spoilers if you have not watched the penultimate episode of The Walking Dead, season 11, episode 23, titled Family. So I'm not really going to waste any time. Let's just get right into this. And first thing I want to say holy frick i don't know if i'm ready man i don't know if i'm ready to see this end so we have two weeks and that's one thing i want to remind you guys the walking dead series finale is not airing next week on amc plus we have to wait two weeks on amc uh to get to see the series finale of the walking dead they're making everybody wait they're making everybody wait two weeks so yeah this is going to be a big one and especially by the way this episode ended this is uh this is going to be absolutely outrageous. So anyway, let's get into the episode. We get started and our monologue this time around was of our weapons and our characters and Judith. And I thought it was absolutely amazing. Basically, after the fight with the Warden and the Commonwealth last episode, you have Judith that goes back and gets like her sword back, Rick's gun back, and you've got everybody from the group that's grabbing their weapons out of this box. And you see flashbacks of all of them using said weapons as they're picking them up i mean that was so freaking awesome with a monologue from judith uh, as well too and she then passes the grimes hat to rj so if you remember carl passed it down well rick passed it down to carl and then carl passed it down to judith when he died and then now judith is passing it down to rj so wow that's amazing and that's how they open up the episode. Freaking incredible, man. So then we're back. We've got Negan who's saying goodbye to Annie. You've got uh, him talking to Maggie about how we got to take out Pamela because none of us are safe as long as she's still breathing. And um, you've got Daryl and Carol and the rest, and they're all ready to head out and attack Pamela and attack Commonwealth and all that stuff. And you've got Judith that says that she's coming, right? She's coming with them no matter what. Uh, she's thinking about what happens after. And she says to Daryl and Carol, like, this isn't the future that my mom and dad fought for, right? This isn't it. Uh, us fighting and, you know, the state of Alexandria and stuff. Like, no, that's not, uh, that's not how it's supposed to be. So Judith is coming. Uh, she insists. And then we have Mercer. So Mercer, uh, of course, brings Eugene back to Max. Uh, he's now going to think of a plan to try to overthrow Pamela. And he's going to try to get soldiers to join him into this fight he's doing, right? And Pamela is starting to be a little suspicious of Mercer. So she's kind of having one of her uh, one of her soldiers kind of watch him closely. And uh, Mercer is turning on Pamela. But you can kind of tell Pamela kind of suspects him a little bit. Now... You also get to see Aaron's crew, who's in the zombie herd, as the Commonwealth soldiers are basically leading it there. And you've got Aaron and the others to try to break off into the woods, and they do just that. And they try to, like, kind of go into this, like, trail or whatever, and we get a pretty darn intense moment where Elijah, Luke, and Jules are broken up by the herd. They can't get into the trailer with Aaron, Jerry, and Lydia. So Lydia's trying to get Elijah's hand, and she's trying to pull him in, but with her hand out there and her making too much noise or whatever and trying to get Elijah inside, uh, uh, Lydia gets bit on the hand. So, yes, Lydia does get bit in this episode. It's on her hand, um, on her, like lower arm right here and they bring her in and she's kind of like freaking out or whatever and i love how they did it too because aaron says like you know i lost my arm i was fine so now you know you're going to be fine as well too and i love the line where they kind of like tell her too like you're so loved lydia like that's that sort of thing uh making her feel like she matters right because alpha never really treated her like she did and they chop her arm off and Jerry says he's sorry and they go ahead and do it. So 
they, um, yeah, the, you know, Lydia has lost an arm, uh, that's pretty freaking insane, uh, she doesn't die, she does survive, but she did lose an arm trying to save Elijah, and now Elijah and the others are separated, and we've got Aaron and Lydia that have no choice, like, Lydia cannot walk right now, like, she can't go on foot, so Jerry says that he's gonna go ahead and do this, he's gonna do this for them, and, um, yeah, it, oh man, and he says, like, see you on the other side and stuff, and I was really thinking there for a minute, I was like, they're going to kill Jerry this episode, aren't they? But at least so far, they haven't killed off Jerry. We'll see in the finale if they do. But man, that really felt like a final goodbye for him, right? But he walks out and he goes back into the zombie herd. And we didn't get an update on the zombie with the rock um, last episode or like the zombie that like picked up the knife. Uh, we didn't get an update on the zombie that picked up the knife from the last episode, which I found kind of interesting. Uh, they didn't really focus on that too much, but we did get some variants later on in the episode though. So anyway, meanwhile, you got this going on. You've got Daryl and the others that are on their way in. And Judith says they're in the clear and stuff like that, and they can, you know, go in and stuff and all that. But you've got Mercer that's fending off this herd right now that's heading towards the Commonwealth. And he's trying to gather up troops to turn against Pamela, right? And unfortunately, Mercer in this episode does get arrested. Uh, he gets arrested and out of the position of power, and he is thrown into jail. So did not expect to see that at all. Because he was willing to help out our survivors and, you know, even contacted Pr uh, Princess earlier in the episode. So, yeah, Mercer is now arrested. He was not able to do what he was planning to do, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyway, that's what's going on there. Now, you've got Eugene as well, too, that's kind of in hiding because if anybody sees him, he's going to be killed, right? But you've got Commonwealth soldiers that are going through every single apartment and checking every single apartment trying to find Eugene. And Eugene hides behind a door as one through uh, one of the soldiers busts through, and Eugene just freaking straight up takes him down. So... That was awesome. Uh, Eugene then escapes. Eugene gets out. And Eugene uh, ends up going back with our crew later on in the episode, which I thought was really cool. But you've got Daryl and the others. Now, let's talk about this shootout, right? So they go through the halls of the Commonwealth. They go into, like, the main room or whatever. And there's no one there. It's really quiet. Nothing's going on. It, it, it's very, very odd. And all of a sudden, a bunch of Daryl's men start getting hit. A whole bunch of them start getting shot at. You've got Gabriel. You've got Rosita. You've got Carol. You've got Maggie. You've got Daryl. You've got Ro uh, Rosita. You've got uh, Judith. You've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, they're firing against uh, the Commonwealth soldiers. And they manage to nail a whole bunch of them. But the part that kind of surprised me is that Pamela's on top. And one of her men gets killed. And she straight up grabs a gun. Which I'm like, Pamela with a gun? Like, that's really surprising. And she fires down... And this was incredible. Maggie is about to get shot by Pamela, right? And she's about to shoot Maggie when all of a sudden Judith steps in and gets shot to protect Maggie. And as soon as Daryl sees that, he's just like, what in the hell just happened, right? He screams out like a concerned father. He basically is at this point and now carries Judith out. But he can't do that with Pamela still on top, right? So he looks at Ezekiel. He sees the fire extinguisher and he gets Ezekiel to throw it. And the way they film this too, they throw it and then Daryl uses Rick's gun and shoots it. And then you've got the smoke that goes everywhere, right? So then they carry Judith. Daryl picks up Judith and they head out of there, right? So that was freaking awesome. They didn't kill Pamela, but now Judith is hurt. Now they got to get the hell out of there. So now you've got the variants that are showing up. They're breaking through the Commonwealth gates as we see towards the end of the episode. And you've got Daryl and the others that are running out of there trying to get the hell out of the Commonwealth. They're trying to get any which direction they can go and they keep getting blocked off. And... It's now the band back together. You've got Eugene that's back with everybody. You've got Daryl that's carrying Judith. They're all running out there. They're trying to find a way out. And they're getting cornered in every single freaking direction, man. They're getting cornered in every which way they go. And it was so insane. You've got uh, Luke that comes in. He comes with our characters. And Jules, they reunite with everybody. And everybody's running in the crowd trying to get out. And Daryl has to get Judith to safety. She's shot and... She's bleeding out. Daryl has to get her out of there, but he doesn't know how. And they find an opening in an alleyway to get the hell out of there. And Carol clears the dead for Daryl so he can run through. Which I thought was insane. And this is when you see our characters first see all together a variant walker. And I didn't miss it. Negan does have an F-bomb in this one, which uh, Negan, man, like, yes, sir. That's, uh, that's one character that we needed that from based off his comic counterpart. So I love to see that. 
and now they are having to fight the variants like one on one all of them versus the variants and that's how the episode kind of wraps up Daryl's trying to get Judith to safety she's hurt and Negan and the rest Maggie and the others are going to fight through the variants as best as they can and oh man this scene got me so much, man, when she says daddy and she's hallucinating Rick uh, carrying her instead of Daryl and Daryl hears that and you see like the look on his face and stuff. I just, oh man, dude, frag me. So this was an insane episode. Uh, this was an absolutely crazy episode. Uh, we did not get any deaths, but I feel like we're, we're setting up for that here in the series finale and um, boy, what do I even say, man? I guess... The one thing I'll say is this was one hell of a penultimate. They really, really outdid themselves at this one. And um, yeah, this was absolutely incredible. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below what did you think of this episode of Walking Dead. 10 out of 10, absolutely. This is absolutely a 10 out of 10 episode. I absolutely loved every single minute of it. And uh, that is it for this review, guys. So anyway, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And we are going to be right back for the series finale predictions for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.